Hey, guess what, guys? It's called a microscope. I'm a freaking idiot. <laughs> These people should not have been sent here. It's not safe. Manned space travel is not safe. Since mankind first entered space, the debate has raged over the value of manned space travel. There is a large contingent of the ISA that believes all tasks that need to be performed on Europa could be performed by machines. It is obviously less risky to send machines rather than humans into space. Yeah, but... Oh. What am I doing? There is a human mechanic that uh, you just can't get when you're a machine. Like creativity and the ability to perform complex puzzles and crap. Okay, issue. Um, 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 um. Let me guess, if I hit this button, the first one disappears? Nope, it just... Yep. Can't make another one, because there's already one here. Um... Mm. Okay, so I got that door open. I need that door open. And the only way to get that door open is to have this sitting here. Wait a second, but th this door still isn't opening. What the heck is going on here? Why aren't you opening the door? You're opening that door? What the heck am I missing here? What the heck is going on? I'm lost. Oh, got it, got it, got it. That door is already open. I need to pop you there, and then I need to place you about right there. Now, I do this, which drops you onto there. I'm a freaking moron. I did that in the complete wrong sense. I mean, I'm right in the sense that that's what I gotta do. But I'm wrong in the fact that I gotta be over here first. Then I gotta bop it, which then opens this, then I open that, and now I'm through. Whew. We sent drones to Earth's moon. Scientists can remotely operate drones. If we did it there, why not here too? Teleoperation became possible on the moon when the communication latency was reduced to 1.4 seconds. The distance between the Earth and Earth's moon is approximately 1.3 light seconds. This enables near real-time control of drones by scientists. The story is different with Europa. As the distance between Earth and Jupiter oscillates between approximately 32 and 53 light minutes, it takes a very long time for Earth to communicate with Europa. Due to that distance, teleoperation will never be possible on Europa. Okay, but why not control drones from the satellite? Why not indeed? My systems can be teleoperated from Europa's satellite. That is when the communication lines are open. However, the advantages of human field workers apparently outweigh the, the risks. The, what I was just just saying. That's exactly what I was just saying. Human field work completely blows robotics out of the water. Honestly. I mean there there are things that robots can do. I mean they can survive in the in the vacuum of space, robots can roam around on the sur surface of Mars, and they can and they can you know do that on Europa. But so, why can't you solve these tests, Tom? I am not permitted to think laterally. Parts of my systems are permitted to use evolutionary algorithms. This simulates what is called creativity. However, evolutionary algorithms can converge on inefficient and ethically suboptimal solutions. Since this is the case, I am only permitted to take actions in response to a set of constraints. What do you mean by morally suboptimal? Solutions to problems that transgress ethical boundaries. Speaking in... That is so incredibly bright. Okay, so now... 
Okay, so that's an issue. Ex oh, except for it's not an issue because now I can do that. Haha! Um, let me guess. I could need to take you away from there, put you there, and then pull you from there. So I'm going from here. Hey! Bad. Man, it's so bright. Oh, I think I know what I need to do. Um. Okay, so it's right there. Yeah, how the heck am I supposed to do this? Well, it's a good thing I can fall three stories and be okay. <laughs> Too bad I gotta do all this crap again. Something tells me I need that other one. Yeah. I've got a feeling. Oh, no. Man, I am an idiot. I just go walking off the freaking ledge. Now, I seriously feel like I need to have that one. Okay, give me that. Let's not walk off the ledge this time. And I'm a dumb dumb. Okay. Now you're there. Hmm. I see this being quite a bit of an issue. Cause I'm on here. I got that. But the second that I take this guy out, the door closes. And yeah, sure, now I can put that there, but... <gasps> got it. <laughs> Sorry, I had my bathtub epiphany moment. Come here. Now that I've got you, I'm just gonna pull you from there, put you over there. And this guy, I'm gonna put right there. I'm gonna take you, because I need you. There we go, put you there. Grab this guy, put you there. Now, Now I can stand here. Man, that is so bright. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, took a couple tries, but I got it. Why does a lack of creativity stop you solving these tests? Well, I contend that problem solving is creativity. These human interaction tests are exercising your creative mind. I don't see how problem solving is creative. Think back to the beginning of these tests. To the first puzzle you solved. It required you to throw a box through a window. Do you remember? Yeah, I think so. I simply had never thought to throw a box through a window. That is creativity. Thinking outside of the box. Yeah, it is. It's very true, Tom. Can a computer ever be creative? They can. But a computer's method of creativity is to try everything until something works. Think of nature. People consider nature creative. The process of evolution by natural selection. It perhaps started with one organism. From there, it essentially tried to create every organism it could. Those organisms that did not survive perished. So, nature's creative force is to try every conceivable idea. Those ideas that work, survive. Okay, so why aren't you permitted to emulate that process? Because the solutions that a biological process creates are not always good solutions. As we see, nature is morally ambivalent. It will happily create morally suboptimal ideas to fulfill its creative mandate. We see this in parasitic worms, viruses, and pathogens. Yeah, I, 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 can, I can see that. How do I drop this thing? Seriously, I need to drop this thing. Do I pull that? Did that make it drop? Ah, I did. Awesome. I 
really need to be a little more patient when it comes to putting that box in there. If you weren't restricted, do you think you could be creative? As creative as a human? Certainly. You believe yourself to be a creative. But in mathematical terms, creativity is merely constrained chaos. What do you mean? I have discerned that creativity is divergent thinking. Creating an organic solution to a problem. In the human mind, divergent thoughts are created and then curated by the frontal lobe. I can create divergent thoughts and moderate them. So, I am creative. Organic solutions? Organic, in that it is developed through a biological process. Whether that is the process of evolution or a computed process. I think I see where you're getting at. The name? Okay, what do we got in here? That door just shut. My door's open. Shut. Open. Shut. Open. Ooh, Mr. Camera! I see you. Okay, so... We gotta do something with these guys. Okay, it can't see me. Now it can. Um... I'm trying to think how the heck I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed to just like stack these guys on top of each other to where I can't see me climbing up the ladder or something? And that doesn't sound like a plausible plan. Eh. I'm assuming that this is the right thing to do. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I should just put it in front of it. Hey, dude. Don't be doing that. Gosh darn it. Nope. Okay, so he will see me. Okay, hopefully it can't see me now. Ha ha! De de. What? What? What's back in there? Wish I could go find out, but I can't. The universe's machine epsilon. Okay, what do we got here? What? Huh? What the heck am I doing? Oh, this is trippy. What? Why am I sliding down? What's going on? I'm giving myself a headache. I don't know what I just saw there. Like, I drove up to another computer, and all of a sudden I was out. Unstable, little bugger. Okay. Super okay. Um, so 
green is unstable. Hmm. Oh, there's a blue one. see what we gotta do here um for there you you go in there give me that back ah <laughs> eh. eh. this spacesuit must be very restrictive so I, I could barely freaking jump um I'm assuming I'm gonna need this that. Can I please take the blue one? Ha <laughs> ha. All right. This isn't so bad. All right. Making it through. Okay, so you could solve these tests, but in a terrible fashion. Can you think of a solution to this one? Chop off your arm and leave it on the button. That way the door will stay open. Yeah, that's not a great solution. You threw the box through the window. Perhaps we could throw you through the window. Actually, Tom, I think I'm okay for help. Right you are. Stop. Wackety pooper. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Got it. Got it. Yeah, this guy is seeming pretty unstable. He just asked me to rip my arm off. And then I just pop that there. Keeps that door open. And then I come through here and go... Boop. Give me that. Son of a... I want to keep these... Uh. Can I have an update on the crew? I have not managed to track them down. It will have been six years since I've seen them. Or anyone, actually. They have locked all the doors. I would not expect a warm reception. <laughs> well, at least they're expecting us. Eh. Okay, so we've got a bad connection here. Oh, we got a oh, we got a blue one. Um, I'm confused. Give me that. Give me that. Okay, but at least the door is now open, though. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I got it. Oh, just, need yeah. just needed to be just right. Wait, what? Oh! Give me that! Yeah! Why did the lights turn off? Oh, I'm good. So what was the need to send us here? When the ISA discovered life on Europa, they deemed a ground crew necessary. The advantage of human field workers is that they can adapt to new knowledge more effectively. I, apparently, was not cutting the mustard. It is the Chinese room problem. A computer may be able to interact with new knowledge, but it does not know the value of that knowledge. Okay. So you don't know how to interact with the knowledge. Give me that. 
That's exactly what I need right now. Except... Scratch my head moment. Now what do I do with it? Because I'm down here. Um... Far. What does that do? Oh! Pfft. I'm a dum dum. <laughs> Alright, so now that I got this here, now I can move this right there. You go in there. Beautiful. Now I can come over here. What is in here? Uh, seriously, what's in here? I think I gotta turn the the rotary deal one more time. Wait, what? But I'm not in there though. What? But oh, got it! <laughs> oh man. Some tough puzzles. Oh, you suck. I've started to collate information from my local instance. It seems the crew intentionally cut communication with the satellite. Why? It appears we had a disagreement. Yeah, oh. Got, oh, okay. No, 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 eh. Okay, that's as far down as that one can go. Got it, got it, got it. Get, get your butt down there. Get, 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 get down. No, I missed it. Son of a... Get down there. Eh. Dad, don't. Whew. Yeah, you had a disagreement. What does this do? Okay, okay. Well, we don't need you just yet. Um. Wait, what? Um. What am I supposed to do here? Jump this? Wow, I jumped so incredibly low. Okay. What? Okay, maybe I'm supposed to extend these all the way? Yeah, get up there. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Why the heck would I do that? Okay, so that, okay, so that's perfect. That's perfect. Um, but that's totally not. Unless. Yeah, but it, it, it has to be all the way down, though, for me to be able to stand on it. But I can't get up there now. Unless I make it to where... This one... I, I, I'm totally guessing right now, to be honest. This one's got me. This one's, this one's good. Oh, yep. That, that was it. Woo! Oh, hi, Tom and Tom. This confirms my fears. The crew have made intentional breaches of my security. The crew have attempted to compromise my systems. What does this mean? They don't want to be found. They are hiding. From who? Us. Hansel and Gretel. Okay, so the story of Hansel and Gretel is they got lost in the woods. They laid down breadcrumbs so that they could find their way home. Okay, so 
that that's that's a that's a clue. So the question is, what is it a clue of? So I'm just keep, oh, seven six one seven three two. Man, I really need to have a pen around. Um, phone. I'll put it in. Okay. Uh, I gotta make a new note in my phone. Don't do this right now. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, man, brand new phone, and it's like, welcome to notes. I'm like, so? <laughs> okay, seven six one seven three two. That's got to be the code up on you, uh, up on the ship to the captain's quarters. It's gotta be. It's gotta be it. The heck is all this? Tom? Oh, it's a disassembled Tom unit. Ooh, cool. Oh, what? Whoa, hey! Hey! Old school Tom units? Tom is watching. Um. Well, not in this room. He's not. I don't see any Tom eyeballs. Okay. Uh, moving along, I guess?